Hi, I'm Black Bright and I am broadcasting out of the UK. And I had a question about the fees for an FLR. Um, I have a funny feeling when that person asked me about the fees to the FLR and he wasn't specific about which FLR application he was applying for, that he probably didn't realise how many FLR forms there are. Now, FLR forms are further leave to remain. They're the forms that you need to complete for an extension. And then I thought to myself, well, if he doesn't know that there's more than one form or what more than one type of FLR, can you imagine how many other people there are out there who do not know how many FLR forms there are and which one they should be completing for their situation? So I'm going to tell you in a very superficial way, like I said, please get legal advice from an attorney who's recommended by the Law Society, the Law Commission, or www.gov.uk, or the Citizens Advice Bureau. Okay, for those of you who don't know, FLR stands for Further Leave to Remain. But I'm assuming that since you're watching this video, you have a rough idea what it means. Okay, we have the FLRM, M for Mother, or M for Marriage. That will help you to remember what that one is. This is the form that you complete if you want to extend your stay based on marriage as the partner or the dependent child of a citizen or someone who has settled status. Now, by dependent child, you would have to be under 18. You would have had to have lived in the country for more than seven years. Um, and like I said, the parent would have to be of settled status or a citizen. The FLRIR, let's use the acronyms IR for immigration rules to help you remember. The FLRIR is the form you, you use to extend your stay. It's also called leave to remain. Okay, and that's the one that you complete to get the biometric permit or the biometric resident permit. Then we have an FLRFP. The FLRFP is to make an application based on family life. Now you can use that for the 10 years stay or there was there was a number of them. Hold on. I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, FLRFP, where are you? Family life as a partner on the 10 year route, family life as a parent, five years and 10 years, dependent child under 18 who is applying for limited leave to enter or remain in the UK other than on a point based system. Now, the point based system is the tier one, tier two, tier three and tier four. They're the ones that you come in either on an investor visa, tier one, tier two, I think is, um, well, I'm not even going to go into that now because I don't know off by heart. Um, you've got the tier four, you've got the tier five, I think tier two is general workers. Anyway, I don't want to get into that because I don't know that off, off, off by heart. OK, but as long as they're not coming in on one of those tier one, those t that's what they call the point based system. OK, um, and also you can use that FLRFP for leave outside the rules, private life and um, on the basis of family life. Um, yeah, and that's it. So I'm just going to go over that quickly. So the FLR. FP form is for family life as a partner, family life as a parent, five years or 10 years, dependent child under 18, who is who has lived in the UK more than seven years, who is applying for limited leave to enter or remain in the UK, other than in the point based system at the same time as you're applying. Um, the private life 10 year route, Leave outside the rules on the basis of family life. And that is it for that. Now, that will cost 1033 plus the biometric permit, which I think is just under £30. I can't remember. But of course, you can find that out. Um, there's also an FLR form for the Grenfell Tower. You know, those people who the, the survivors of the Grenfell Tower. 
um, who all their documents were burned in the fire. So there's an FLR form for those as well. There's an FLR form um, in brackets HRO. That is the human rights claims and leave outside the rules. So there must be two. Oh, wait, OK. So this is where it gets tricky because the FLR, FP, that also has a leave outside the rules on the basis of family life. Now, the FLR, HRO, which is the FLR for the human rights, it also have a leave for outside the rules, but that might be for human rights. And this is where it gets tricky. So, you know, they have similar names, but they're for different categories. Um, that's the same price, 1033 plus the, bi the biometric resident permit. You have the FLR IR. We'll say that's for immigration rules. And that is to extend existing visa to stay in the UK, otherwise known as leave to remain. And that helps you get the biometric permit. I think I said the FLRM, which is to apply to extend stay in the UK as a partner or dependent child. Um, but you know what I'm concerned about? You know, uh, you know, since I've changed immigration rules and after 1983, people born in the country, um, children born in the country are not British citizens. And so there are lots of them who are unregistered, undocumented lots of them. Now, according to the Children's Society, they are saying that there are currently 144,000 children who live in the UK who migrate to migrated to the UK at a very early age or were born, born here, but are undocumented because they were never registered. If these children do not or cannot regularize themselves. When they become adults, they will find themselves unable to rent property, access student loan support, access banks, benefits, employment, and other entitlements. Can you imagine? You've got your child in the country and it's going to be like a stateless person. It's, they're just going to be like all of these um, overstayers or the ones who have come in on trolleys, on, on trucks and by boats, what I call illegal immigrants. And they're not going to be any different from them. So what I was thinking, and this is just my thought, you need to get legal advice, is that there's a form called the FLRS. Now, that is the form that can be used for the stateless person. Because I'm wondering if they will come under being stateless. Because once they're adults, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, you're going to have to get advice under that. But there has to be something. There's always something. So just check that out. Um, yeah, children born after 1983 who were not registered by their British father and mother or some, you know, what another tricky thing is, is that if the British father marries the mother, that child will all automatically become a citizen. So if there are any British fathers out there who have children born in the country after 1983, do your children a favour and get married to the mother. I know British men, for some reason, they don't like to get married, especially the British black men. They wait until they're bloody 90. Well, that's an exaggeration. But there's some, some of them, they wait so long. But this is very important for your children and not to leave your children in a vulnerable position when they grow up as adults. They need to be regularised. And you can do that as quick as anything if you marry the mother I mean the only thing you'll have to do is take a DNA test to prove that you're the father that's all you'll have to do and I mean for the regularization of your children it's not too much to ask anyway um, I think I'm going to leave it there I hope you found this useful bye bye